So a really common question that I get when talking about smart blinds is whether you can control them manually from the blind itself as well as via the remote control and of course home assistant. So it seems like Khaleesi may have come with an answer to this problem. So to be totally transparent with you, Khaleesi did send me these blinds free of charge, but this is not a sponsored video and they have no control over what I say. So Khaleesi is a high-end blind and covering manufacturing company from the Netherlands and they have now teamed up with EVE to form EVE Motion Blinds. So these are matter over thread based blinds that can be easily installed and controlled. So let's have a look at how they work. Installation of these blinds was literally the easiest I've ever had. I literally put one screw on the bracket on each side. I needed to put one screw because the actual brackets needed to come further back because of the mullion on the inside of my window. I'm using their training video here because it shows you install the spindle, then you put the little clip over the screws and then there's another cover plate that goes over the top like that. Next, you put your cover plate on the other side. Now you lift up your blind, so this is easy to do as a single person install. You just slide it neatly onto the spindle over there and then you just clip it in to the other side. It just easily slides in there and the blind is all ready to go. All you do now is put the last cover plate over the end and you're complete. One of the first things that struck me about this product was the ease of use of the instruction guide. As you can see, each page clearly shows what you need to do to set this product up. Pairing the blind with the remote is super easy. You just press this little button on the underside, the blind will start jogging and all you do then is go to the remote control, press a little pin into the back and it will now pair it. Pairing the blind is super easy. Open up the HomeKit app, then press the plus to go add accessory. Then all you do is scan the little QR code which is hanging at the bottom of the cord of the control for the blind. Scan it. There we go. We just go add to home. There we go. It's all connected. Now we just have to set a room for the blinds. We'll put that in the dining room and continue. And there you can see it's added our EVE motion blinds. Next we need to set the top and the bottom points of the blind. You can change direction by releasing it and pulling the cord again. Once it receives or reaches the bottom point, press the little button, not the one that you used for uh, pairing it, but the other button, hold that in for three seconds, that will then jog twice, and that will show that you've set your bottom point. Now what you need to do is pull the blind cable again so that you get it into the top point and then you can press the button again for three seconds to set your top point. In order to share the device from HomeKit to Home Assistant, open it up, turn on pairing mode and then copy the matter over thread pairing code. Now you go into your Home Assistant, you go add device, device and services, add device, add a matter device and we're going to say yes it's already in use and it's with Apple HomeKit. And now we go in and we type our code in over there or paste it in, go add device, and then this will connect it up to Home Assistant. Now that it's linked up to Home Assistant, you can see here that we can click on the blind and we can either set custom percentages open or we can go and press the open all the way, stop or close all the way. We can also go down here and we've got access to our battery percentage as well as the battery voltage. So Khaleesi has a whole range of different devices available. The one I've shown you is the matter based version over thread, but they also have a Wi-Fi version that operates with a hub and Bluetooth connection to the blind. They also have these motors as a retrofit option that you can use with your existing blinds. And as I've said earlier, the beauty about the system is that you do have the pull cord as a manual option so that you don't have to pull out your phone or use one of your smart home devices which it seems a lot of people are after. The blinds ship with this really smart looking remote control 
which has your up and down controls, but you can also select between up to five different blinds that can be controlled off of this one device. It also offers options like being able to change the speed. So you can have up to five different speed settings, which can work slowly and then super quietly. But even on the fastest control, I found that these blinds were really quiet. Overall, the quality of the blinds, the quality of the installation, quality of the documentation, the ease of uh, control with Home Assistant, over the HomeKit integration, everything was just seamless. So I can honestly recommend them. Just to give you an idea of price of these blinds, they said to me the estimate would be being about 450 euros on the blind I had, which was 2.2 meters wide by about 1.3 meters high. So that gives you an idea. These are not a cheap product, but certainly when it comes to quality, I believe with devices like this, the money is well spent. Anyway, that's all for me now. Hope you've really enjoyed this. Please let me know what your experience is like with smart blinds. We will be reviewing some more smart blinds in the future. I've got two more different types of blinds on the way to me at the moment. So please let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.